Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So it's the festive season. It's my favorite time of year. It's a lot of people's favorite time of year. So I decided to do something a little more festive. Not too festive, but like just seeing it, you can tell that it's um, a Christmas piece. So I drew this girl sitting down and holding a candy cane, a gigantic candy cane for some reason. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this paper, I don't know, I don't know what happened. I think I used too much masking fluid because in some areas it ripped the paper. In the areas where the masking fluid was thick. And this is like my second time using masking fluid, so I'm not gonna be mad at myself <laughs> for that mistake. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think this piece turned out really good. I used watercolors and gouache. I used gouache for the candy cane and the hair and watercolor for the rest. So I just used um, just a gouache that's not too diluted for the candy cane. And it, it turned out really good. It worked out really good, I think. And for the skin, I just, I wanted it to be super pale. So I just got a red and a yellow and diluted it to, like I diluted it a lot to get it that light. And if the lighting keeps changing throughout the video, I'm sorry. I did it at, I did this at noon and it was a cloudy day. Right? So the lighting kept changing because the sun would go underneath the clouds and come out and go back. So I was using, and I was using natural light, so it keeps changing. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, so I used for like the blush in like the eyes, the shadows in the eyes and the side of the face, I just used the same orange mixture and just added more yellow and a little bit of purple, just a tiny bit of purple. And that's how I got the shadows that I use um, on the eyes, the nose and the side of the face. And on the lips, I used the same one, added more red. I was just using, I just used like three colors, this whole piece yellow, red, and purple, and yeah. Apart from the hair, which was brown, but yeah. And for the shadow in the eye, I go back, but I added more purple just to get it even darker. And yeah, and I did that, and I just kept doing that. And I really like how it turned out. And the drawing, drawing this pose was a little bit tricky because I never, I don't really draw full figures. And it's not really a full figure, but like it goes up to her knees. <laughs> and having her sit down and slouching like that was like, it was really tricky. <laughs> it was really tricky. I kept erasing and redrawing it, so yeah. And for the hair, I used a uh, burnt sienna gouache mixed with black, just a little bit of black. I kept adding black to make it darker for the shadows, but this is the one with just a little bit of black. And before I painted the hair, her skin looked super dark, but after painting in the hair, it just, it looked pale, so I was happy about that because I was, I was afraid it would look too dark or too red. But I guess it was just because the paint is too white. So now that I've painted the hair, it doesn't look, she looks pale, which is what I was going for. And while painting this piece, I wasn't using a reference. Like I used the reference for the, for the pose and everything, but when I was painting it, I lost the original picture. So I was just winging it, like with the hair and everything and the dress. I was just putting the shadows where I thought shadows could be because the light was like coming from above so yeah and for the shadow on the candy cane I used the same red and purple mixture and just a little bit of black just a little bit for that shadow and I sort of like I love the fact that this piece had lots of shadows I feel like the shadows made it look more 3D. <laughs> and for the shadow under the candy cane, I used the same purple, mix, red, and purple red mixture and just added a little bit of yellow just to make it look brown. Just make it more brown and added more water to dilute it for the other shadows. Hey 
And this piece, all in all, like just painting, just painting it took around about an hour. I think an hour, yeah. Like the whole, just painting the whole piece took about an hour. But with, if I add the sketching process and the line work, um, it would be about an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> it took me 45 minutes to get the pose done and line it. But I did that the day before, which is, which is why it isn't in the piece. Because it was dark out and it just didn't look right. And for the eyebrow, I just used the same gouache, like the, the shadow, I used the gouache and just painted the eyebrow in. And for the shadows, now I'm going in with like a, um, it's like a greenish brownish color pencil, my favorite Castell, Color Me Grip. And I'm using the, the purple one as well and the red one just to make, add more depth to the piece. I like to do that, just to put in color where <laughs> where the paint, where I think the paint didn't work out that much. And yeah, it just adds more depth to the shadows and adds more vibrancy to the areas that I think need more vibrancy. And I did that everywhere, and this brownish, greenish, blackish color <laughs> pencil I used on a lot of I use it everywhere I use it everywhere and for the highlight I'm using just white gouache undiluted white gouache paint just to get it as opaque as possible with a number one brush so it's tiny so it's a tiny brush because the piece is tiny so <laughs> Yeah. And I think all in all this piece is one of my favorite in 2020. So yeah, and here I'm just adding more shadow underneath that hand just to define it a little bit more. And I'm gonna go in with black just to make it even like make it stand out even more than it does. And the shadows on the dress were super fun to paint. They were just super fun. And I decided to add more red, like to add red stripes on her sleeve. Just to make it, just make red look more cohesive because it's like in the face and in the candy cane. And now on her dress, just to put it out there. Just so the candy cane isn't the only one that's like screaming at you. And yeah, so here's the video. And if you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications. Bye!